all the learners back viewers out there and uh, today we'll be working on some dynamic data we'll discuss how we can actually import live data in our google sheets and this is important for professionals who are actually concerned or connected to websites uh, which are tracking data live or and if there are any changes on these data within the website you can always track it within your spreadsheet you don't have to do anything these are all automated and you just have to make the very first spreadsheet and if the list or the table which uh, these are the two formats which are available are all here you don't have to track the changes the changes will be done automatically within your spreadsheet so let's start with this blank one and let's keep the name of uh, this spreadsheet according to the function which we were using which is import html let's keep the name as i html so uh, if for example if you're a f maybe a movie freak but uh, before watching a movie you always look at the rating of the movie and which is dynamic and changing every week maybe so uh, you always have to t keep track of the ratings or the list or the tables which are being updated in this case you can always use this formula as well so here uh, i'm using this formula for this wikipedia page which has uh, a list of movie uh, children films so let's see these are all the lists which are available uh, in this formula the import html there are two different functionalities or two different options which are available either your website can have data in table format or the other format which is available in this formula is the list format the li this is the list format which you can see on this wikipedia link so let's see how we can use the formula you have to use uh, the formula beginning with an e equals to sign as we always do start with import and here's the formula import html now the very first thing that you have to do is you have to provide the url from where you have to keep this data record so i'll just copy the url i'll paste it here and here it is the second argument says that which type of data is actually listed on your website so you have two options either it can be in tabular format so you have to write here table or if the data is in list format you have to write here list currently the data is in list format so i'll write here list now the third argument actually would like to know which list or which table you would like to come up here so as you can see that in the wikipedia link i'll just show you that there are many tables or many lists available so i would like to know the very first list let's see what is the result here is the result let's see and compare it with the original website here is the website and see this is the very first list so uh, as i've written there one so google sheet is actually showing me the very first list let me try by writing down two and according to me or according to the formula this should be the result pre-1940 list should be there now so let's see if it's available wonderful it's there see uh, the starting value is the bluebird the ending value is the wizard of oz starting from 1918 to 1939 these are the movies which were released pre-1940 1918 to 1939 wonderful so uh, this is the use of this formula and uh, you can use it for dynamic results for tracking live data maybe if you are using uh, some data from forex uh, or maybe if some financial institutions so you can always use this function and it will track or change your data live so as you are aware of the fact that wiki does allow changes within their website if there are any so if uh, for example uh, next week i see there is a list uh, there is a change in this list or in any of these list i don't have to do anything this formula will automatically track the changes and the latest list will be updated here so i believe this is uh, very important and very good to know so please use this import html formula within your spreadsheets track your live data go dynamic and make sure that you are s you have subscribed to your youtube channel which is learner deck uh, stay tuned and we'll be back with more informative videos thank you